In chapter three, lesson four is exponential and logarithmic equations. Okay, now we're gonna take what we know about expanding and condensing logs and evaluating exponential and logarithm expressions to solve equations. We're gonna begin with the one-to-one -one property of exponential functions. It states, for b is greater than zero and b does not equal one, b to the x power equals b to the y power if and only if x equals y. Okay, this is a true biconditional, and we can separate the biconditional into a conditional statement and the converse. The conditional statement is if b to the x power is equal to b to the y power, then x is equal to y. Now, here's an example. I have 32 to the power x minus 1 is equal to 4 to the power x plus 5. Okay. Notice I have two exponents set equal to each other. In order to solve for x, I need to rewrite the exponents to have the same base. So I know four can be written as two to the second power. So if I'm gonna write four as two to the second power, I still have to keep the x plus five, but that's going to be put inside of parentheses. Now, 32 can also be written as an exponent with base two. 32 is two to the fifth power, and we're going to also keep the x minus one, but put it in parentheses. Now that I have two exponents with the same base, I can set the powers equal to each other. So I have an equation five times the quantity x minus one is equal to two times the quantity x plus five and I'm going to solve this equation for x. Distribute the five on the left side. Distribute the two on the right side and solve. I'm going to subtract two x from both sides. Add five to both sides. And when I divide by three, x is equal to five. I'm going to use the one-to-one -one property of exponential functions to complete example one. Okay, go ahead and turn the page. Let's look at the first example. Uh-oh, I'm missing a page. Hang on just a minute. Here it is, back side. Okay, example number one. Solve each equation. These are exponential equations, okay? So to solve, I'm going to express both sides of the equation in terms of a common base. So in problem number one, I have four to the power x plus two equals 16 to the power x minus three. I can rewrite 16 as four to the second power. So I'm going to make sure each exponent or each uh, number is written as an exponent with base four. I'm gonna keep four to the x plus two power, but I'm going to rewrite 16 to be four to the second power and I'll put the power x minus three in parentheses. Now that I have two exponents with the same base, I can set the powers equal to each other. So I have the equation x plus two is equal to two times the quantity x minus three. I'm gonna solve the equation for x. So 
I forgot to, two times x is two x, two times negative three is a negative six. Add six to both sides and x is equal to eight. Very good. Problem number two, I have one third to the n power is equal to one over 81 raised to the two thirds power. Now 81 can be written as an exponent with base three, okay? So let me just take my calculator and double check. Put three times three, and it was nine, times three is 27, times three is 81. So three to the fourth power is 81. So I'm gonna keep my one third to the n power. Now I know one third multiplied by itself four times is one over 81. And in parentheses, I'm gonna keep my two thirds power. Now that I have both numbers written as an exponent with base one third, I can set the powers equal to each other and solve for n. So I have n equals four times two thirds. Okay, multiply straight across and n equals eight thirds. Okay. I'm gonna have you pause the video, try problem number three and four. Okay, when you're finished, press play and I will go through each of those two problems. Okay, problem number three, 16 to the x plus three power equals four to the four x plus seven power. I can write 16 as an exponent with base four. Okay, 16 is equivalent to four squared. And I'm gonna put the x plus three in parentheses. And this is equal to four to the power four x plus seven. Since my two exponents have the same base, I can set the powers equal to each other. So I have two times the quantity x plus three is equal to four x plus seven. Okay, go ahead and distribute the two. So I have two x plus six equal to four x plus seven. And solve the equation for x. When I solve the equation, we should find that x equals negative one half. Okay. Problem number four. We have two thirds to the x minus five power equals nine fourths to the power three x divided by four. Okay. Now, If I look at the bases, I'm going to keep my base of two thirds and my power at x minus five. Now, I need to make four ninths become an exponent with base two thirds. Now, first of all, I need to flip the fraction so that I have four in the numerator and nine in the denominator. And to do that, I have to have my exponent be negative, okay? So I could take this, and if I want to make this a positive 4 ninths, then this is going to be to the negative 3x divided by 4th power. Now, 4 ninths is the same thing as 2 thirds squared. So if I take two thirds times two thirds, I get four ninths. So I'm going to rewrite this as two thirds. Again, this is raised to the second power and multiplied by negative three X divided by four. 
Now that I have two exponents with the same base, I can set the powers equal to each other. So x minus 5 is equal to 2 times the quantity negative 3x divided by 4. Now, 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 4 twice. So I have x minus 5 is equal to negative 3x divided by 2. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2. Okay. On the left side, distribute the 2, so I have 2x minus 10. On the right side, when I multiply negative 3x divided by 2 by 2, I get negative 3x. I can subtract 2x from both sides to get negative 10 is equal to negative 5x. Divide both sides by negative 5, and x equals 2. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and the next video will cover example 2.